All right, we have electric cars, electric scooters, and even electric bikes. But how would you feel if those e-bikes were on the greenways? It's a proposal the Metro Parks Department is considering. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs spoke with one community organization working to get people involved in the decision making. With a growing city comes growing technology, which could change the way we get around and even explore our neighborhood parks. We are on this planet to involve the community in greenways, development, enhancements, location, design, all of those things. Amy Crownover is the executive director of the nonprofit Greenways of Nashville. It is our mission and I think Nashville really has grown so much and sentiments change and it's really good point now to do a check in and and see as going forward what do we do? What does our city do regarding Greenway policy. The group works alongside the city and the Metro Parks Department by giving the community a voice in all things Greenways. They're partnering up to see if motorized vehicles like e-bikes should be allowed on the Greenway trails. Are there ways or, you know, policies that need to be developed to just make sure the space is being used by everybody and everybody's comfortable and moving forward, we have to just acknowledge that e-bikes are here and they're um, very useful for many people. You may have seen these signs asking the community to answer a survey to grant electric bikes access to the greenways. Crownover says it's important the community's voice is involved. E-bikes are not necessarily new to the greenways or new to Nashville, but it's what the survey that um, you're, you know, interested in learning more about is to get some community engagement, understanding of what people think about how the greenways and the parks department address emerging technologies. For more information on the survey, just head to the story on our website at newschannel5.com. Reporting in Nashville, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.